Facebook is in the spotlight once again. This 250 page document released by a UK lawmaker shows that Facebook gave some developers special access to user data and also discussed selling that data to other companies. It also details how Facebook discussed hampering rival services like Twitter's Vine, the now defunct video service. The day that Twitter launched Vine, Facebook executives discussed whether they should stop Vine from allowing its users to find friends via Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg responded with four words, yup, go for it. Twitter declined to comment. So how did these emails come to light? Here's Deepa with more. There is a lawsuit that's been going on in San Mateo, California for a few different years um, from a company called 643. They were suing Facebook about some of the changes that Facebook made to its developer platform. As part of this lawsuit, 643 got a ton of emails, uh, documentation, all kinds of things that shed light on how Facebook views user data. And in one case, right after Facebook went public, they were trying to figure out how to make money and some employees considered, hey, let's start charging developers for access to user information. Uh, in one email, you see this Facebook employee say, what if we shut off access to the developer platform to any developer that doesn't spend at least $250,000 on the platform? Here's why it's a big deal. Facebook has said repeatedly that it doesn't sell user data. It's actually one of the most important parts of how Facebook works is we do not sell data. Advertisers do not get access to people's individual data. But these emails show that Facebook was considering this idea in the very early stages of the company, raising all kinds of questions about the intentions and practices of this large corporation that has a lock on all this important personal information. The documents also show that Zuckerberg kept a list of strategic competitors that he personally reviewed. These competitors couldn't access some services that most developers had without mark-level sign-off. Facebook says these documents tell only part of the story and are misleading without additional context. The release of these documents and the dispute around them is just the latest body blow to Facebook. This is a company that has endured hit after hit after hit this year. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. 